fam good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching me from in this world is your girl not so easy for those that are seeing my face for the very first time you are so welcome to my channel those of you that are here because you saw CCME's name Mm? You yeah, are very welcome, but please, eh, I'm begging you, don't just run away. See, you will love my channel. Just tell me subscribe. Don't just watch only this video and run away. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for showing interest in uh, my video because of the challenge. And also, I want to say a special thank you to CCME for giving us this opportunity to use our platforms to do this. I could, I would never have thought of this in a, in a million years. So, I give you kudos, CCME. Thank you. Okay, guys, you're very welcome again. And then to my OGs, I say a very big welcome to you. You guys know that you have a special place in my heart. Thank you for coming once more. So, guys, today I said let me do this CCME challenge thing. If you follow CCME, you would know that she started this challenge, this um, cooking with 1,500 naira challenge. Uh, did I say challenge? Oh my God. Cooking with 1,500 naira challenge to know what you can cook for your family with that amount of money. I did not know, if, at first I saw it uh, and I, I wanted to do it, but based on the fact that, um, but because it's, they said 1,500 naira and it's mainly, I thought it was mainly for people in Nigeria but I noticed that some people in the diaspora have been jumping on it so I decided that what the hell, I'm gonna jump on it too so I'm going to go out now to shop with $4 to see what I can cook for my family not all of my family because we are plenty uh -huh. but to see what I can cook with $4 and then i also want to i want to go to my kids school to pick up breakfast and lunch because their school has this program where they feed the children if you're interested in food you should come pick up food every day from monday to thursday so i don't go there all the time is i only go when my kids say i should go when they feel like eating it they say i should go get it so i'm going to get it today as well anyway guys I'm going now. I'll take you along with me. Let's. I'm going first to the store. Let's go buy. Let's go see what for the last. Be coming down, Nazo. Be coming down. Let's go see what four dollars can get for us. Okay, I'm going. Let's go. Okay, so this is the food package that I got for today. They normally pack breakfast and lunch in each bag for the kids. I got for four kids. I'm here. Let's go see what four dollars can buy for us. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Like, I like this challenge a lot. Let's see. So I came to the farmers market, the green farm market. That's where I am. All right. I'll see you when I get inside. Okay. I'm thinking I should buy plantains. Huh? Yeah. You know what? Let me buy from the ones that are under. This one has passed one pound though. Wait, I need to add more. And I'll take this too. Let me get some matches. 58 cents per pound. So, there's a one pound. Should be enough. 
Let me get the big, big ones. Me, I don't have patience for slicing tiny, tiny tomatoes. Okay. Bologna, no, just four. Oh, yeah, two pounds. Eight cents per pound. This thing, this challenge is really hard. Hey guys, I think I'm done now because all these things are all below one one dollar. Let me see. <laughs> this thing should not pass four dollars though. It's zero. Let me pay. You guys, at this point, eh, this thing that I bought, it has passed four dollars, but. I can't come, what can I do? I can't come and kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's not easy to do. Okay? You people, guess what? I failed. <laughs> I failed the exam. Everything amounted to six dollars. So I spent two dollars over the four dollars that I was supposed to spend. See you people, this challenge is not for those in diaspora, Biko. It's for Nigerian people because you see that they sell things here in pounds, in pounds. I cannot go there and pick only one pepper now. Neither can I go there and pick only one onion. Ah! And if it's in Nigeria, at least you'll be able to price. You price things and tell them, Madam, you say it's 500, Madam, give me 200 now. That kind of thing does not happen here. It's what you. <laughs> it did not work. I failed. Oh my God. Oh my God. So. I failed, Chai. But what can I do? I can't come and die and kill myself. I'm gonna cook it like that. At least I tried. At least, at least I tried. You people, for for people in diaspora, it's not easy to for them to do this challenge. So, I just want to do it. <sighs> ah, it's paining me, Sha. I will not lie. All this thing I'm saying is open casiobi. I'm just consoling myself. But what can I do? I'm going to go home and cook it. Do you know I did not even buy oil? How can I? Okay, how can I buy oil? They don't sell. If it's in Nigeria, you can buy oil inside nylon. They don't have it here, nah. They don't have it here. Sure, people are understanding me. You're understanding what I'm talking about. That is tougher for people over here to do it. In Nigeria, it's easier. You can buy kini kini, tintini, tintini things and cook something of 1005. You can even buy yam. Do you know that yam here? If you see the small tiny yam, oh god, that small tiny yam alone is even more, is up to ten dollars. Abi, am I exaggerating? No, I'm not exaggerating. I don't know, but I know that it's not easy. Let me just say, let me just say this, you know, and end it here. It's not easy to do this for people in diaspora, but I just had to, I just had to do it. So I'm going to go home and I'm gonna cook it, and we are gonna eat it. Okay, ciao. So guys, I unpacked everything. This is what we have in all those bags. You need help? You need help? You want me to open it for you? No, let me open the green one. Okay? Hmm? You want the brown? Did she just say brown? You guys, I don't know where this girl. This girl is just two years old, but she knows almost everything. And I did not teach her anything. She knows her numbers. She knows how to count one to twelve. She hasn't started school, by the way, and I have not opened my mouth to teach her anything. She even knows some colors. I just told her, let me give her the green one, and she said, no, I want brown. This one. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Eh? Is it eh? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is what we have in the bags. We have the milk. We have apples. We have... What's this? I don't know what this is, but it's um, it's frozen. Frozen strawberry... 
I think they are diced strawberries actually and they're frozen and then we have these then what are these I don't know what they are but I know that they are some kind of pie yeah, some kind of pie thing we need to warm it up for them to eat we have the waffles and these waffles already have maple syrup in them you need help baby I'll help you chill mm -hmm. chill first oh yeah we have more of the dice frozen well imagine they even added potato this is potato we have apples and then we have potato so that we should we should fry it or boil it for the kids mm. so that's what we have for today okay and then we have these raisins as well for those that like to eat raisins so that's what we have for their lunch and breakfast from school okay i'll help you Okay guys, so let's get cooking. I've put the plantain to boil because I'm making plant boiled plantain with pepper sauce. So now I'm frying the onions. Oh, and by pepper sauce, I don't mean the hot pepper, I mean bell pepper sauce. So I fried the onions and then I added the tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. And now I added the bell peppers. Oh my God, look at how colorful this is. I wanted to buy the yellow bell peppers, but it was too expensive. Yellow bell pepper alone costs like a dollar something per, per pound. So I let it go. I added Cameroon pepper, ginger, and now I'm putting in the salt. I think, I, yeah, that was my gyo, not ginger. Now I put um bruschetta pepper mix. This is thyme and this is the ginger. The plantain is busy boiling away and the sauce is almost done this thing it, it didn't take time to make at all it didn't take time to make and it was so delicious just look at <laughs> oh my god look at my food my plate of deliciousness i even decorated it with avocado guys as in this food was so delicious even though i failed woefully because i used six dollars to make this dish but it's okay. It's okay. What can I do? Like I said, it's harder for people that are in the diaspora to do this challenge. Thank you so much to see me. Thank you so, so much for giving us this opportunity to do this. Guys, I'm tagging all of you that are watching this video. I'm not tagging anybody in um, doesn't specifically. If you feel like jumping on this challenge, please jump on it. Don't forget to go to CCMA's channel to watch her video as well. Watch her video. Go to her Instagram tag her and use the hashtag cook with 1500 okay challenge over i had to add shrimps because the thing was plain it was delicious but it was plain so i added shrimps okay guys so this is the end of the video i'll see you in my next one bye <music>